Hi everybody and welcome to Pinfinity. My name is Wos72 and today I just want to uh, make something uh, clear about uh, Bevla because I receive a lot of confusing questions about uh, why I'm not using Control B to do uh, the operation of the Bevla. And I just want to explain the difference between the two for everybody to, uh, to be clear about it because maybe the demonstration wasn't clear enough. When you use Control B, uh, you use it in, let me, um, enable the wire for everything. When you use Control B, you call this function here, edge and bevel here, and you activate the bevel. And you can use the scroll of the mouse to increase the number of segments. So uh, keep in mind, this operation is 100% destructive. Once you place your, your bevel, you cannot go back. You, you cannot return to object mode uh, and return to edit mode and, and, and modify this. You will have to remove uh, remove everything to uh, to have the the, the mesh uh, as it was in the beginning. So the beveler and and you cannot let me let me reactivate it for you and and you cannot switch between between um, a chamfer and a fillet. So it will st it will have the same settings. You see, you will have to uh, just remove like this if if you want to chamfer. The difference between the beveler uh, it does that non-destructively. It will have a, a bevel modifier, so this uh, stays absolutely editable. So you can modify the mesh if you want to. And and uh, the bevel because it's a modifier, so uh, so it will adapt automatically. So this is something I just uh, um, to make clear. And you can go from a fillet to a chamfer, and here it will calculate it will calculate the number the number of segment to have a small surface automatically for you. As you can see, if I reduce it a lot, the the number of segment I have here is not the same as here you see and it stays smooth so that's the precision i want to make so i i hope uh, now it will be uh, very clear about the difference between the two and uh, yeah maybe in the, in the demonstration it, it, it wasn't specific enough so i just make that video for everybody to understand so if you still have trouble understanding how it works don't hesitate to leave me a comment i will be glad to answer it and uh, i want to thank everybody uh, um, who download the, the script and participate, we really appreciate it. And uh, uh, you will have a future updates uh, about it. As always, the goal is to keep the tool you use extremely simple to go with the flow it and to design without having to think about the technical restriction. So that's that's the goal of creating such tiny tool like this uh, who makes a big difference in your modeling or design process. So yeah. That's it for now. So until the next video, guys, thanks for everybody who download the scripts uh, or donate. That's really amazing. Uh, thanks for the new subscriber. I was blown away by the amount of people who subscribe since last, last week. That's really crazy. So uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned for really good content to come. And uh, yeah, I wish you all to have a great day, to have a great year. And uh, I hope it will be productive and amazing for every single one of us. And yeah, until the next video, guys, take care and see you soon.